Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends all drive Porsches. I must make a man's work hard all my lifetime. No help from my friends. So Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Hi guys. I made a recent video about sex and intimacy being that it was Valentine's Day here and ah, it's fascinating it's fascinating you know I I I get caught up in fairly controversial issues when I make videos um, you know I I'm not Christian but I'm I'm a theist uh, you know I, I uh, I'm not good with the Bible, but I still believe in objective morality, and, uh, and and so I I mean of every camp I can find supporters and dissenters, and after making enough videos that demonstrates both sides of that, I I have begun to become or at least to feel inoculated to the kinds of of uh, comments I receive, uh, especially recently with with the exchange I had with uh, Urban Elf and in his posse but uh, I still read most of the comments I receive and uh, and every once in a while I find one that blows me away it really does you know I I'm particularly fond of the subject of sexuality and intimacy and being perfectly open about this kind of thing. I think there is a terrible taboo about sex. I don't think sex is anything to get excited about. Uh, I think it is, I think it's scary to a lot of people because it demands a kind of self-disclosure and people don't want to disclose themselves. And it's interesting to see the kinds of people who, who descend me Send me. I don't know. People that disagree with me on a regular basis is to see how they responded to this particular topic. And kind of, it, it, did, it did fall in line with the expectation, although you don't have to believe me. Um, mm. Anyway, I, I found, I got one comment that I wanted to share with you. And I wanted, I wanted you all to take home with you. Take home with you because it was shared with me and I must share it with you. And after this video, we'll get back to the, the absolutes and the empiricism thing, but really, I, I must, I must share this with you. As a representative of this individual, I get lots of shit for being melodramatic, and I am, I am melodramatic, but this time, it'll be perfectly intentional. I'll probably fuck it up because it's perfectly intentional this time. But anyway, the comment was in response to a request I made in that video asking people to give advice for younger individuals who might be soon to encounter their first sexual experience, the kind of awkwardness of it all that you just sort of have to get over. And, and asking basically what, what kind of advice would you want or that you didn't receive? And uh, got some good things so far. So thank you all for, for contributing, those people who did. And thank you, in particular, to our star commenter of the day, Mr. John Q. Public 11. Spotlight's on you. He gave me a two-part response, and so I shall read it. And there are a few new words in here. The man commands a significant vocabulary, one that surpasses my own. And so if I make some uh, wrong pronunciations of words, it will only reinforce the notion that I am a dipshit, like most of you believe. But allow me my indulgence here. Part one. My advice would be for both Christian boys and girls to cherish their bodies and save their chastity for the future husbands and wives. Then, perform the proper due diligence until the appropriate Christian mate is found and a gape love is mutually discovered 
and exchanged. Eros will not survive the test of time. It should be understood that the multi-partnered sexual nature of Eros during childhood will forever haunt and defile the intimacy of the future marriage, the marriage partnership, and destroy its beauty. Part two. My advice to the godless heathen atheists who have arisen from the primordial slime of random, meaningless, purposelessness, which licenses the sanctioning of every form of human debauchery imaginable by virtue of their licentious nature, natural history, and general lack of moral or ethical character, would be to keep on keeping on with your profligate behavior since you are all going to burn in hell for a long, long time anyway. By virtue of your rebellious godlessness and good luck. You'll need it. Mm. It's almost an orgasm in itself, isn't it? Holy shit. You know, I'm not an atheist, but I am a heathen, <laughs> at least in this gentleman's eyes, I have no doubt. And I think there's something very important that needs to be said. There's a part of me that's, that is very bohemian when it comes to love and sex. Very hippie-ish, beatnik. I mean, I mean the, the, every age seems to have its own group. Maybe it's now the, the Holland guys now is the sort of, you know, the trippy whatever, 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 whatever it might be. And that is that, though I don't think there's anything inherently profound within the act of intercourse. I do think there is something incredibly profound in the act of self-disclosure and being honest with oneself. And I think that can be very profound with your partner. And it would seem to me that the dogmatic claims of individuals like John Q. Public are made in fear of discovering who the hell they really are. That they would rather hide behind a concept, behind a book, a set of ideas, so they do not have to commit themselves to their very existence. That they can live this life as if it was merely a dream. And at the same time, accuse others of having the license to be immoral when the act of immorality is merely the result of ignorance, if true objective morality is to be found anywhere. And yet it is these people who adopt a belief that would have them believe that this life is not as important as it gets. That there is something after. Something that you have to save up for and cash in on when you finally die. It's a grand strategy. Oh. It's a grand strategy to reach out, and confuse one's own perception of reality such that the true gift of life becomes unimportant.
If there is such a thing as evil, then it is that. Not multi-partnered relationships. Not finding a Christian mate. Sounds like the goddamn Discovery Channel. No, the only thing worth avoiding in this life is the illusion that life is a dream.